Just literally get a pathetic amount and get no treasure and you should be fine. Like this much. Uh. Look how pathetic that is. You just get one bag. Alright, so I got about 1,192, I think, from that. I don't know. But, trust me, that's, that's barrel, that's nothing. So, if you give them nothing, you can expect nothing. Well, that's just how things work. And this is the worst ending. You get a bird house. Well, huh. I don't know how you can even fit in there. Please retry. Alright, um, I will skip to the next ending, which is gonna take me forever. Urgh. See ya, then. Okay, you should get about, like, 5,000, and you should be okay. Yep. Um, I think that was 12,000 right there. Uh, interesting fact, interesting fact, this is what I got in my first playthrough. And please retry. Well, okay, now to move on to the third ending. I honestly don't know how much you need, and I know this is about the right amount. It should be between, like, 40,000 and 90,000. And this is what I have, I have, like, 10 treasures. So, um, yeah, it should do. Let's just wait for this counter to go down faster. And, yeah, I got about 76,000. So try to aim for around that, and you should be fine. I think it's about, like, 75,000. I'm not sure, but... Just try to get above 75,000. And I'll see you... I mean, please retry. And I'll see you in the next cutscene. See ya. Alright, hopefully this one's a third ending. Let me go speed this up a little. You need about 40,000. And that should be enough. There we go. So, um, yeah, you get the log cabin ending, which is still a please retry. So, yeah. Oh, I'll just open a shell. See ya. <laughs> Alright, we should have enough. We should. Well, we better have enough. We got a Skype thing. Okay, okay, we better... Don't tell me we're gonna be short by 900! Hold on. Hopefully, this is the correct ending, which it should be. Alright, now that we destroyed Syrup Castle, there's the Princess Peach statue that um, Captain Syrup stole. Well, Mario steals it from us, and he flips off Wario, which he just happens to be wearing goggles and has an M on his thing that represents him. Wario has um, a little bird on his head, even though it's a genie lamp. And on the side of Syrup Castle is some kind of weird hole. And Wario doesn't seem to care what just happened. Well, Wario's gonna go see what Genie's got for him. Man, you don't know how many times I had to go through this just to try to get the best ending. It's a little frustrating, man. 
Okay, so, um, according to Genie, for one drug deal, he needs lots of money. So Wario is thinking, hey, let's get high and go buy this castle I wanted because Mario destroyed my last one in Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. And the genie says, like, in order for this drug deal to happen, you need money. And, um, this time I have over 9,000 monies. Which you should have at least, like... Yeah, I would say you would want to have 10,000 monies before coming here with, um, all the, with all the treasures and completed all the levels and stuff. Because I think that's what you need, according to Wiki, right? You need all the levels, all the treasures, and 99999 coins. So now we just have to watch the counter go up. Yes, according to my moth, it should. And the rest of the money, that 50 coins, Wario just throws in the trash. And I should barely make it. Alright, there's one money bag. Here's money bag number two, I think it should be coming up. I said, money bag two, where are you? Anyone tired of this cutscene already? It's a bit repetitive. All you're just watching is in Wario's house, the number just keeps going up, and then all of a sudden, it just goes down. Man, those money bags must be full. How can Wario pick up all of that? He can pick up 99,999 coins with one hand. He must have some strange strength, man. And that's how you get the best ending with six gold six bags of money and I don't know how we can throw it like that that's 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 actually amazing and thunder all right genie says here's the drugs now go get high but Wario's like where are the drugs and then he gets, he dies and goes to heaven and realizes the drugs are right there on his own little planet. Somehow, I don't know if he should be happy because if you look at it, he's like five times, the planet is five times bigger than his own body. Is that a good thing? I mean, is that worse than the birdhouse? I can't tell. I mean, like, I know he has his own planet, it doesn't mean, like, is the planet really five times his body weight? Hmm. Well, people, let this lesson be learned. If you have $99,999, um, dollars, you can buy your own planet. Which is just a fifth of your, I mean, uh, which is just five times your size. Programmer, Katsuki Yoshinori, and then you got graphic designer, and it's just, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Yeah, I can't pronounce Japanese names. Um, 
Let's see, let's look at this planet. I like how all the stars are just gray pixels. Um... Oh, is that the little dipper above, uh, planet? I know nothing about astrology, so don't make fun of it, me. Package designer. Let's see, um, what else can we make fun of? Hmm. I don't know. Apparently, Wario can survive on space without oxygen. But, well, I guess he can breathe underwater, so... I don't know. He can survive. What do you think Wario's gonna do on his planet? He'll probably just toss all his money in there. But wouldn't it be too much work for him to just get the money on Earth and then just transfer it to all his planet? Which is why I suggest an STD, a Schuster teleportation device, which is pretty much you put a little disc thing in one spot, and then you put another disc thing in another spot, and then you can you can go back and forth in those spots. It'd be awesomeness. He bought one of mine for one dollar. And why one dollar, you ask? Because one billion dollars. To, is, um, I mean, one dollar is equivalent to a billion dollars in America. So, yeah. Do you think Wario's gonna be bored of this planet? What happens when it runs out of resources? I like how his pants just blend in with space. So, it's like he's not wearing pants. He's just, his legs are just his body is floating and his legs are just in the ra in the randomness void of space. Uh, if you guys don't- I want to kind of speed up this credits because it's like getting annoying watching this now. That's being- me being obnoxious, which I shouldn't be obnoxious. Why on the planet that all- um, what, his eyebrows and his mustache is white, may I ask? Should I question this game's logic? Probably not. Um, it's kind of hard thinking more things to say, and it's just Wario just walking back and forth, forth, giving us a thumbs up and a wink behind his own planet. I mean, you would think he'd be on his planet right now. Okay, fine. Never mind. What? Where's Shigeru Miyamoto? Where is... Where is Shigeru Miyamoto? Shigeru Miyamoto isn't on this cast list, or was I too busy talking and not paying attention? Probably. Presented by... Me. Which actually is presented by Nintendo, because I don't work for Nintendo. Which would be awesome if I did. Oh, was I supposed to press a button? Perfect game! Alrighty, um, yeah, so that's the end of Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. Thank you all for watching this LP, and I'll see you in my next project. See you then.